What's up, Shepherd Youth? Welcome to Technique Tuesday. My name is Caleb Walden. Today I'm talking about, if you can read it, uh, shaking off quarantine depression. Shaking off quarantine depression. Yes, this is a wall and I'm writing on it. Pretty cool, right? It's a whiteboard wall, so you can just squiggle on it. That's gonna annoy me if I leave it up there though. But during quarantine, when it started, I at first it was cool, everything slowed down, my life got a little more chill. Um, but then I realized I lost all of my rhythm and I couldn't seem to like feel very happy. I hit some of the lowest, saddest moments of my life during quarantine. For some reason, I couldn't figure out why. But these are some things that I've been doing for about a week and a half, two weeks now that I've felt better than I ever have during this quarantine time. I'm not saying that they're, they're gonna totally fix all of your problems. It's been a short amount of time for me, but I feel really good. So here's what I want you all to try if you've been experiencing some quarantine depression. Number one is wake, waking up at a consistent time. I started waking up at 7.30 every single day. I know it's early, but what happened in quarantine is I would stay up too late because I didn't really have to be up till like 10 for a meeting or something. Um, and then my sleeping schedule got crazy. Um, then I have to get up early to do something one day. So I was just all over the place. I was tired. I didn't feel very good. But this past week, I, I bought a coffee maker that automatically makes coffee in the morning. So I set up at night and then at 7.30, it makes a cup of coffee. So I roll out of bed at 7.30, have some coffee and I'm up. And I'm telling you, I've felt so much better from just waking up at a consistent time. So I encourage you to do the same. Maybe since school started, you've been doing that, but it's helped me a lot. It's helped me feel like my days are going by slower. I'm getting more done. Number two, classic, daily Bible reading. I stopped doing this, just confession time. I stopped reading my Bible pretty much completely. I was maybe on like a, I read it like once every couple weeks, but I just really, I kind of just stopped reading my Bible at all. Um, and then finally something in me was like, man, you need to be in God's word every single day. You know this, you preach this, you know how powerful it is. It's so simple. Um, so sometimes it doesn't feel powerful, but I was like, man, I gotta get back to this. So I started reading my Bible every single day. And by the way, waking up early helps me do that because it's the first thing I do when I get up. If I don't do it right away, I forget to do it. If I wake up and I have a meeting right there, I don't read my Bible the whole day. So by getting up early, I have more time to read my Bible. And this is how I do it. I have two post-it notes and a picture of my sisters and I start in Matthew chapter one and I just read one chapter a day and I'm all the way in like first Corinthians now because I started this a while back. Um, but then I'll read one Psalm, picture of my sisters marks where the Psalm is, I'll pray the Psalm. So whatever I read through, I'll pray that Psalm to God. If it's like, God, where are you? I pray, hey God, I'm, uh, please show up in my life right now. Or if I feel like God's there, I'm like, God, I pray um, for people who feel like you're not there, whatever. I just pray the Psalm. And then lastly, I read the proverb of the day. There's 31 proverbs, there's never more than 31 days in a month. So I will read just whatever proverb it is for the day. Today's the 28th that I'm filming this, you'll see it a later day. Um, but that's what I do, just those quick things. It takes about 15 minutes. But by waking up at a consistent time and then immediately doing my daily Bible reading, I have felt so much better. So I wanna encourage you all to do the same. I'm gonna try and see if I can get this to uh, show you a better picture because you should just screenshot this and do exactly that. I don't know if you can read my handwriting, but if you've been experiencing, so you like this camera angle right now, if you've been experiencing some quarantine depression, I encourage you to try this and see if it works. It's worked for me. I love you all. Uh, make sure that you sign up for D groups and I'll see you on our next Technique Tuesday.